All right, gang, we're gonna talk about iron sight picture here. If you shot any pistols at all, you've probably seen this before, all right? You got your rear sight, you got the target, you got your front sight, all that. All looks great, right? Well, let me explain to you a few things that are going on that you may not first grasp. Well, first off, why do we watch the front sight? All right, why do we do that? Well, you know, everybody's been told that. Well, that's where the end of the gun is. Well, that's the, where the bullet comes out, yada, yada, yada. I'll tell you why you watch the front sight, okay? It's easiest to align three objects by focusing on the one in the middle. That's why you watch the front sight. Now, that doesn't mean you have to watch the front sight to get a good shot. In many cases, you can watch the target, you can watch the rear sight, whatever. It's really, in many cases, you have a lot more margin for error in your sight picture than you do in trigger control. All right, so what gets you in trouble generally isn't your sight picture. Usually what gets you in trouble is your snatch and trigger. So we watch the front sight versus watching the rear sight of the target because it's easiest to align three objects by focusing on the one in the middle. So we want it to come across the rear sight here, an even amount of light on either side of the front sight, just like you see it there. Now notice, my rear sight is slightly out of focus, my target's slightly out of focus, and my front sight's crystal clear. Also notice the three dots, very common. You see a lot of pistols with three dot sights, whether they be night sights or white dots or whatever, super common on the market and has been for many, many years. Here's what you see though. See how the dots are not aligned? That is very common on handguns. Actually, it's rare to have all the, all the dots completely aligned horizontally. So what you see with newer shooters especially, they'll come up and they'll align the sights, but they're actually aligning the dots. They don't realize it, but they're aligning the dots and they're actually misaligning the iron sights. So sometimes you'll see newer shooters doing that and they may have a group or you know, a shot pattern in a weird position and you're not really sure what's going on. You have to make sure they're not aligning the dots. They need to be aligning the iron sights, all right? So, now, last but not least, we got a little bit of wind today, which is actually a plus, because you see how this target is moving? That's the way the iron sights are gonna be moving when you bring the gun out. A lot of people get this false impression or they get this illusion that everything's gonna be perfectly still, just like this, and you go, man, that's awesome, I can figure that out. And then they bring the gun out and the sights and everything's moving. The target will be stationary, but the rear sight and the front sight are moving. They're vibrating and you start going, oh my God, this isn't like the picture. Nobody told me about this. I must be the only one where this is happening to. The only way I can hit the target where I need to hit it is make the gun go bang when the sights are perfectly aligned. All right, so you end up bringing the sights up. When you see everything lined up the way they're supposed to be, you jerk the trigger. What you need to understand is that movement you see is really up here. It's more or less an optical illusion, all right? In the real world, that little bit of shake, a little bit of vibration doesn't mean a thing. And if you can learn to ignore it, you can teach yourself to ignore it, it's gonna make a life-changing event in your handgun shooting, all right? Hopefully you got something out of this. Feel free to, feel free to refer back to this, use this with new shooters. Have a good one, stay safe on the range. We'll see you next time.